So now I'm going to show you a little bit about working with the spreadsheet for this Lab 1 if you're using the LibreOffice Calc. And again, this is a free version that's pretty much like Excel, but is um, offered by the LibreOffice. First of all, when you open up your program, it will look very similar to what you see in Excel, although you might have a little bit of different options up here at the top. But it works very similarly. So for example, when it says enter your name here, you click on that particular box and you can type in your information. When the instructions tell you to enter an equation into a particular cell, like in B27, you'll click on B27 and it will confirm over here that you're in the right box. Then you start to type exactly what's told in the lab manual in terms of what you need to do. In this case, you would type in equals sum open parenthesis. Now you can type in the cells or you can highlight the cells. We wanted to go from D8 down to D22. You would then close your parentheses and when you hit enter, it's going to show you your calculated value. You'll go ahead and do this for the other values as well. Now the other thing I want to show you is how to make a chart in the LibreOffice Calc. And you want to start by highlighting your data. Once we've got that data highlighted, we come over here to the top and here in LibreOffice, it's Insert Chart. Now you can also come up here to the Insert menu and select Chart from there as well. Now it's going to pop up an initial graph and it always starts with these column graphs. But what we want is an XY scatter plot. And we can see it's starting to uh, plot our individual data points there. Now you don't want to click finish just yet because we want to go ahead and actually fill in some other information here. So when you click next, we don't actually have to change anything on this um, section, but you could if you needed to. And then when we click Next, it's got again the individual values. If you had more than that, you could adjust them here. The part we want to adjust is the chart elements. So for title, you want to enter something that describes what this is. So for example, maybe student measurements of wood blocks. And of course, you can adjust your spelling as needed. Then for your x-axis, those were the mass values. And for your y-axis, those were the volume values. Now it's set with y-axis as the display grid, but you can do x and y, and it gives you something that looks a little bit more like graph paper. And if you see if I move this out of the way, it actually lists all of that. Now in this case, we don't actually need the, the legend, so you can take that away as well. And it's going to give you just your plot. Now you can finish. You'll notice it's overlapping some of the important information, so you want to click over here and drag it out of the way for what you need to do. So that's how you make a chart of a basic set of data using the LibreOffice Calc instead of Excel. There's a lot more you can do with this and you can make really fancy charts, but we're just starting with the simplest one. If you have any questions, please contact your instructor.